If you've got itchy ear canals, this video's for you. Hi guys, Cliff Olson, Doctor of Audiology and founder of Applied Hearing Solutions in Phoenix, Arizona. And in this video, I'm gonna tell you the four reasons why your ears itch and what you can do to get rid of that itch once and for all. Coming up. Other than having an itch in the center of your back that you can only reach using a back scratcher, the worst place to have chronic itching is inside of your ear canals. Not only is it nearly impossible to scratch that itch with your finger, but it isn't safe to stick anything inside of your ears to scratch it as well because you could cause an infection, bleeding, or even rupture your eardrum. So if itching your ears is nearly impossible and it's unsafe, what the heck are you supposed to do to get rid of the itch or even better yet, stop the itch from ever happening in the first place? Well, that is what I'm going to be talking about in this video. But before I do, if you could do me a huge favor and click the like button, it really helps out my channel because it gets these videos in front of a bigger audience. And while you're at it, if you have not yet hit that subscribe button with notification bell, go ahead and do that as well because that ensures that you never miss one of my newly released videos. And I release multiple new videos every single week. That being said, I really appreciate it. And a huge shout out to Eosera for sponsoring today's video, but more on them in a little bit. First, let's talk about the four reasons why your ear canals are itching in the first place, starting with reason number one, which is you have too much earwax inside of your ears. Significant earwax buildup inside of your ear canals not only potentially leads to a reduction in your ability to hear, but it also leads to an increase in the amount of itching that you get from your ears as well. Your ear canals are lined with skin, and any time that you have something touching your skin for a long period of time, it has the potential to start itching. Think of when you use a band-aid that has been stuck on your skin for several days at a time, and it starts to itch. The only way to get rid of that itch is to get rid of the band-aid. This is very similar to what you have to do with earwax. You have to get rid of it. Of course, one of the best ways to prevent earwax from causing itchy ear canals is to get your ears cleaned out regularly. But this can actually lead to the second reason why your ear canals itch so much, which is you're over cleaning them. Now, I know this sounds ridiculous because on one hand, not cleaning your ear canals leads to a bunch of itching because of the buildup of earwax. And on the other hand, cleaning out your ears can lead to excessive itching because it dries out the skin inside your ears. So how much ear cleaning is too much and how much ear cleaning is not enough? Well, unfortunately, the answer is it depends depends on the person. <sighs> But if I were you, I would err on the side of overcleaning your ears because rehydrating the skin inside of your ear canals is very easy to do, especially if you use a product like Ear Itch MD from Eosera, today's video sponsor. Ear Itch MD is a topical spray designed to soothe, calm, and lubricate dry and irritated skin inside of your ear canals. Simply applying one to two spritzes of Ear Itch MD inside of each of your ear canals quickly and safely relieves the hard to reach itch inside of your ears. The ingredients inside of Ear Itch ND include a combination of ear safe oils including coconut oil, light mineral oil, jojoba oil, apricot oil, tea tree oil, laurel berry fruit oil, and liquid Germol Plus, which all work together to ensure the itching stops and that your ear canal is properly rehydrated. Not only does Ear Itch MD work really well if you have dry ear canals, but it also works really well if your itching is caused by the third reason, which is using hearing aids or earbuds. Oftentimes when you use hearing aids or earbuds for a prolonged period of time, this can cause your ear canals to start itching as well. Of course, you could just remove these devices from your ears to prevent the itching, but this doesn't really solve the problem if you need to be able to use your hearing aids or earbuds consistently throughout the day. If this sounds like you, you can simply use Ear Itch MD at nighttime before you go to bed so you can rehydrate your ear canals while you sleep, or you can even use it 15 minutes before you decide to put in your hearing aids or your earbuds. In cases of only minor itching, you could simply spray Ear Itch MD onto your fingertip and apply it to your hearing aid's dome or ear mold or on the tip of your earbud before putting them inside your ears. If that annoying itch inside of your ears is being caused by dry skin or it's being caused by the use of hearing aids or an earbud, Ear Itch MD is the perfect solution. Now, if you'd like to pick up a bottle of Ear Itch MD, all you have to do is simply go to your local Walmart, CVS, or Walgreens. However, there is a fourth reason why your ear canals may be itching and it could be due to having an outer ear infection. Outer ear infections are often nasty. Not only do they cause the skin of your ear canal to inflame, but it can also cause your ear canals to create fluid that drains out of your ears. 
These outer ear infections can be caused by a variety of things, including bacteria and fungus. This means that if you have an outer ear infection, you really need to consult with a medical doctor to get rid of the infection first before you try to stop the itch. Otherwise, the itch will never go away. All right, there you go. Those are the four reasons why your ear canals may be itching and how to solve the problem. If you have excessive earwax buildup, get rid of the earwax. If you have dry ear canals, get those ear canals rehydrated. If hearing aids or earbuds are causing the itch, then use a product like Ear Itch MD to provide relief. And if you have an outer ear infection, go to the doctor as soon as possible to get medical treatment. As a side note, if you are going to be cleaning your ear canals because you have earwax buildup, do not use hydrogen peroxide. That causes a significant amount of dryness. What you want to do instead is use Eosera's product called Earwax MD, which will dissolve the wax and all you have to do is flush it out of your ears. I will have a video on that product in the description as well. When it's all said and done, you do not have to let chronic itchy ear canals ruin your day. All you have to do is identify identify what's causing the problem, and then take the necessary steps to fix it. That's it for this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. If you like the video, please share it. If you want to see other videos just like this one, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, feel free to check out my website, hearingup.com. Well